How's it going, gang? This is week two of me playing Rugpool. Uh, last week, I got up to about 30 on the leaderboard. We'll have a look in a moment where I've got to this week. It's not looking too good. Um, but this week, we're going to be looking at some more pro players, see how they play, analyze their play, and understand how I can continue to improve and get up that leaderboard. I want to get top 10 next week. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up, let's just have a look, see how I've, uh, I've fared this week since last week. I, I feel like I've actually got better as a player, but you'll see here, I'm actually currently ranked 80. That's partially because I was messing around playing last night when I was really tired and just kept doing game after game. And I kept coming up against some really good players. So it's a combination of things, but I was really tired and weren't playing well. So I just lost loads and loads of points. I did manage to get my win rate up to about 65%, which is quite good. I was still hovering around, like I went, I went down to like the 70s and I've now just gone down to the 80s. I think the key thing here isn't necessarily that I've got worse. I think actually I've got better, my game's got better. My scores generally seem to be higher. It's more because if you look at this leaderboard now, there's a lot higher scores coming in than there were last week. And also there seems to be a lot more players. Uh, maybe, the, maybe the game's catching on a little bit. And um, I'm coming up against some good players. So anyway, that's how it is. I, I'm still determined to get up this rank. I mean, I had a, a multiplier of 1.6, 6.5, I think, or 1.7. If we go down, I'm rank 8, you know, we go down. You can see I'm, I'm down to 1.57 and I'm only got 1,500. So I, can, I need to get up this leaderboard this week. You've still got time to do it. I'll try and record how I get on, get a little snapshot for next week of how I fared this week, points and so on. I'm really keen to get up here. Let's have a look at some of the players in this leaderboard. So from last week, we know Corksy, we know EBEBC.wam, played them a few times. Every time I come up against them, they seem to be getting 2,000, score of 2,000 plus. Uh, King Nick Game, play him a lot as well. He was one of the people I was playing last night. Beat him a few times actually. We can see his mod plus 1.925. So I think we can get it. Anthony Wax is still up there as well. So some of these players from last week are still hanging around, but there are some new players up here. If we go down a bit, Louisville seems to come up with them quite a bit. Again, beat them a couple of times, but they are mm, beating me most of the time, I would say. So this is where I need to get to. These are the sort of players that I need to start beating. So what we're going to do is we're going to analyze the top player this week, who is EBEBC. I'm going to have a look at some of their games, and then we're going to take a few tips from them and see if I can continue to improve and get up that lead. So the person we're reviewing this week, EBEBC.wam, ranked number one currently. And let's have a look. They played quite a few games. So this this could mean that they're not necessarily the best rugby player. Let's have a look. So they've got they've played 117 games. Okay, right. So most of their points are coming from that. So 117 games played this week, 75% win streak. So that's that's interesting. So they're doing quite well, way better than I am. Lose, winning three out of four games. Um, if we go now on to dual results and check out wow okay so they're getting uh they're beating this person here quite a lot significantly this was last night um nft jedi they've won those three in a row then they lost this person here iwmo2 what rank are they 85th interesting I'm not quite sure how the um how the game puts your pitch you against other players just yet but it is interesting to see that you know i do come up, up against some of these players at times and i you know you know and i'm not necessarily a high rank so maybe it's like you know once you've won a few it puts you against harder players but they are winning most of their games this this person so let's have a look at one of their best games one of their best scores um let's go with this one this is an absolutely resounding win so we've got a few things we need to analyze in this first of all is like what balls give you what points so let's have a look okay so this is a low scoring game as well five points for a solid 25 for a striped and 50 for black so he's potted on the potted two on the break wow okay so just wow okay that was a that was a nice move on the repeat so we can watch that back he does have a good cue which i'm sure helps with aim and he's definitely, you see, he's one thing I've realized is on these low scoring games, it's absolutely essential that you get the multiplier if you want to want to get a good score. Otherwise, it's possible you, you'll be coming out at a really low score. Like even here, he's putting nearly all the balls and he's not even got hit 400 points. Okay, so he's cleared the rack once. Clearing the rack gives you 150 points as well. 
surely it's not got time to clear another rack. Okay, so he's, the multiplier here is up to four. So this is where he's, he's racking up the points. He's going to go for the black there, and he's going to hit times four. So that's where he got most of the points. He's on the time, times four multiplier, and he hit the blacks. So he's getting quite a lot of points for that. Ah, okay. Sheila a little bit. He bought the booster. Bought the booster, which gave him some more time. Okay, he didn't need it. Turns out he didn't need it, but he is using the booster. Let's just watch that break again. Okay, this is one thing I've noticed on the breaks, and I've learned this, and this is something we're going to apply today. If there's an opportunity on the break to pot a ball directly, just pot the ball. Don't worry about splitting the balls. I've seen this happen a few times, and um, it seems to work quite well. So we're just going to watch one more video from EBC. That's the rug ball. Uh, so he beat this person here, NFT Jedi. This is a high scoring game as well. I wonder if this had a high, high, high ball, ball scores. Okay, so that's that's normally a break that I struggle with that one. I'm not really sure where to go. So I might have to try that if that one comes up. This is one of the difficult things about these games. There are so many different uh, types of break. So many setups that it's actually quite hard to um, to get it right and remember what the best breaks are for each, each setup. Okay, so again, he's just he's, he's ensuring that he's potting on each break, and he's getting his he is getting the multiplier up as well. Not as easy to do, it's not not as easy as it looks really. Um, but as you can see, he's not risking going for the multiplier and missing the ball. He is he is essentially taking easy shots. I mean, that's a difficult one to pull off, and he nearly pulled that off. So this guy's clearly clearly got experience playing this type of game, and I think we're going to put some of this into action. Nice, we clear the bracket again, gets you 150 points. And he's always going for this ball here. The one in the center on the on the left, and he's just hammering it. But he didn't pop that time. Okay, so decent score. You know, and this, you know, the ball's here on offer, like the stripes are good, the solids ain't good, the black is good. So that's interesting. We're gonna now put that into practice uh, with a couple of games. Okay, into game one. I've started doing this quite a bit. Uh, I'm not quite sure it works. Let's see if that works. I know it's a slightly different setup, but let's see if that works. He just went straight down on center left hand ball. That did work. Got two there, so that was nice. Okay, that's that's a nice little tip that we've learned there. Let's see if we can continue with that. Um, now, one thing that he tended to do was to go for the easy pot, and this one will result in in the multiplier being accepted. Now I'm, I'm in a bit of a tricky situation here. There's nothing really on. Should, could have probably hit that a little bit harder to put myself in a better position. It is what it is. Okay, not much on here. So we're gonna try and break the balls up and hope for the best, not the best plan. We'll have the white, so the multiplier we set <laughs> sake. Uh, that's quite an easy one. So we'll go for that. There's still more on here. So we're just gonna have a look. The, the, the solids aren't gonna get me much. Oh no, I've messed that up. Uh, but the the stripes will still no mold blur on there. It's just not not good options here. The break was good, but it's gone to shit since then. That looks okay. And I've also started to get better with the that's not a good shot. But started to get better with the power, not hitting it so hard now, um, unless it's necessary to get the balls in the location you want. See, just like that, it's always always makes it a bit easier to get right. All right, we're gonna try something. Can, no, we don't want to do that because the it's gonna put the white. Go with that one. Nice. It's worked out okay. Points are awful here. Really not doing well on the points. Fuck. Okay, I was trying trying to hit the angle there to get it into that pocket. Just wasn't happening, was it? But you can see my my shots are getting better. Not quite at EBEC's level yet, but we are getting there. Slowly but surely, and what do we want? We want the stripes, really. That's it. That's that's an easy shot, really. So we're going to go for the, the one in the center because they're usually harder to pop, depending on the angle. We need this black. I'm scared this is not going to go in. Had to go for it, really. Needed those extra points, but 507. That's all right. Uh, Would have hoped for better. 
All right, I should be targeting about 700 on those on these types of game. Who did we put, put me against? Ah, oh, Louis, Louisville Snuggler. They just want to come up against time and time again, and they keep they keep beating me. Yeah, I've beaten them a couple of times, but they they are quite consistently good. So and they're in the top 20. So we need to get we need to start beating them if I want to get hit these aims. Um, so here normally I would I think I think going here is probably the best option. But it doesn't really necessarily break this as as well as I would like. So I'm going to go dead on. Normally I'll go in the center and try and get them both to break. We're going to go dead on. And again, it's, the, it's similar to the, the break that EBC, EB, EB did. And that comes off again. So that's a nice break. We've learned that and that's nice. Now I've got two options here. One to go for this or one here. This one results in a multiplier. So let's just focus on that. Let's go for a nice general shot. Nice, and then that's set up a couple of options there. So this here, I'm not going to go for that. That's a little bit too ambitious, I think. That strike ball is in a nice position. That's potable in another another go. And this will actually break those balls there. So let's go, let's hit it hard. Nice, that's good. That's worked out well. Okay, so we want the solids ideally, but this is going to get us a multiplier boost. So let's go for that. <sighs> Nearly messed that one up. Need to start putting some solids, get the points up. Can we can we squeeze that one in? I'm not sure we can. Let's go for it. Let's see, because it could knock that other one into the bottom right as well. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, that's worked out quite nicely. That's very tight. I don't want to go for that. Kill the multiplier. Let's go for this one here. We've gone the times three, so that'll get us some nice points. See, sometimes when it's too hard, you just you never get the second pocket. Um, so we're just going to play it safe. We've still got time. No need to do anything silly. And there we go. That's quite that's a tough angle to get on. Is there anything else on? There's not really much else on there. So I think we are going to have to go for it. Just mindful of the white. I think that's probably okay. Let's try it. There we go. Nice. And the, the cue ball's all right as well. Let's go for that one. We can get this in. It's doing all right, yeah? Fuck, fuck, let's cancel the multiplier. Anyway, right, let's let's keep going. Let's go for the black. We need to get the angle right. Not too much power. Yeah, nice. Okay, 741. I'm, I'm all, this is not bad given there's not many points on board. I'm going to hit this hard and hope it doesn't go in that bottom left. Good. Nice, go on. Oh, the luck on that. The luck on that. Okay, and then we're going to do the same again as before on this break and hope that we can get another one in. So we just go dead straight. Nice. And every time it goes in, that is a nice break. 1136. I'm happy with that. That's a big improvement. Thank you very much, EBBC.wam. I've learned a nice couple of tips off you. And let's see who that put me up against. Okay, game over. I guess it's, it's submitted my score. I'm happy with that. Let's see how I get on in the next couple of weeks with these new additions. Can I get up that leaderboard? I'm going to have a few games now and then check in, in after I've had the session and see how far up the leaderboard I managed to get. All right, gang, we are back a few hours later and I have been continuing to play and, and try and get myself up that leaderboard. As you can see here, it's just come up with an error. I tried to play another game and it says MMR is above 2,000, brackets 3,000. You can't have more than 10 open jewels for each game and entry fee. Basically, what's happened is I've played several games. We go into the hub and we go into this. You can see that I've, I've managed to get up to rank 79. So there's one, one place above. And you can see that <clears throat> this hasn't really updated that much. And so basically, if we go into dual results and we have a look at mine, you can see all of these here. So basically, I'm still waiting for my results to come through for the different games that I've played. I play quite, quite a lot. And I would say I've definitely won the majority of them. Or at least like some of them I don't know until it depends who it puts, up, puts me up against. But if we have a look here, so 353 here, this is the one I played earlier, one I was filming earlier. One, two, three, four, five. So five results have come through and I'm still waiting for probably about 10 more. Uh, you can see here, I played a guy called Peter, <clears throat> beat him, absolutely smashed him. Played Matto Gru Grulin F NFT three times. I uh, beat him three times. He got a really poor result on that one, but that was quite a low scoring game. Um, just scrape past that one and then this was another good win for me against peter so let's just have a quick look at peter he's 144 so it, <clears throat> as i was saying earlier there's a lot of new players in this game and it's gonna take i think it's gonna be harder each week because uh, it's a great game and i can just see more and more people coming to play it 
anyway that's enough from me we'll be back next week we'll, we'll see how far this goes up i'll give you a little overview before we start next week before it resets but that's all from me and i'm confident next week is going to be a good one